All right, this workout is an MMA upper body explosive striking workout. Uh, so what that means is, when I talk about explosive striking for the upper body, we're talking about different punching and elbow techniques primarily. And we're talking about building basically speed and force, power, uh, through the use of you know, repetitive um, techniques, right? So repetitive uh, or, or building muscle memory. Um, <clears throat> in terms of equipment, what you're going to need is, most importantly, you're going to need a hanging heavy bag and some either MMA or bag gloves. Um, you'll also need a, either a freestanding heavy bag that you can lay on the ground or you'll want to be able to take down your hanging heavy bag and lay that on the ground for a couple of drills. Um, <clears throat> additionally, you'll need a pair of dumbbells. Um, you'll need a bench, right? Um, or a chair or a block or a stair that you can use to, you know, uh, do different types of elevated or declined push-ups on. Um, <clears throat> to, if you want to add additional resistance, you can also use a weighted vest, right? Um, <clears throat> I'll be using that during this workout and a pair of parallettes for at least one drill. You don't necessarily need them. Um, but it's, it's an additional option to add some difficulty level. Um, also, you need a pull-up bar, importantly. All right, so uh, if you've got all those things, um, then you can do this workout. And <clears throat> the way this workout is going to be formatted is a little bit different from a lot of our workouts because it's, it's going to feature a series of first a warm-up round of three minutes, you know, just basic Tai Chi complex, and then we're going to go into 14 supersets. All right, so this is not going to be in a form of rounds. It's going to be in a form of sets. And each of those supersets is going to figure first a, an exercise uh, to build explosive power. A lot of this is you know, plyometric and strength-based exercises. And then each of those exercises is going to be followed by a specific technique that we're going to work primarily unilaterally one side or the other on the heavy bag. Um, so, for example, it could be straight punches, hook punches, you know, different types of elbows, etc. And the way it, it, formatting, so basically at the exercise, you're going to be, want to make sure you're doing, you're using enough resistance where you can't do, you know, more than 10 repetitions. If you can if you do more than 10 repetitions, you need to add resistance. Um, and then immediately we're going to follow up with the 10 repetitions on each side for each of those techniques. When you see me doing these techniques, you're going to see I'm doing them um, unilaterally, meaning, so for example, I might choose to do if I was going to do hook punches, you might see me using only the lead hook, all right? And then I would switch to maintain proper muscle uh, symmetry and development. I would switch stances and throw the lead hook with the other side, all right? Um, so you're going to see me doing that throughout. You can choose one or the other. Choose your lead or your rear for each of the different techniques, but work just that. You know, you want to work the ones that you want to develop speed and power on, the ones that you might be your weak areas. Um, <clears throat> That being said, that's the workout coming up. Enjoy it. All right, warm up Tai Chi complex. Feet wide, back straight, squat down. Fingers across the ground and come up to this position. Exhale as you push out and squat down. Touch the ground, back to this position. Push out to the sides and squat. Exhale. Fingers across the ground. And push up to the ceiling squat. Touch the ground. Lunge to one side. Exhale. Back to the middle, lunge to the other side, and exhale. <clears throat> Inhale as you come up, start over, push out, <clears throat> out to the sides. ceiling. <clears throat> a 
Lunge. Other side. Back to the middle. Straight in front. To the sides. To the ceiling. Lunge. side okay this superset is going to feature the exercise is going to be shoulder push-ups uh, followed by jabs on the heavy bag for the technique all right so shoulder push-ups you want to do a more advanced version you can do it's elevated on bench like so all right bring your head to the ground and back up all right going to do a full set that way all right if you can't do them that way then you can also do just a basic shoulder push-up on the ground with no equipment, all right? Once you're done with that set, we're gonna do a set of approximately 10, and then we're gonna move into jabs on the heavy bag. We're gonna do 10 reps on one side with this type of cadence, right? Immediately repeating, and then we're gonna switch stances and do jabs on the other side, 10 reps with this type of cadence, all right? But with speed and power coming up. Okay, let's start the round with a set of shoulder push-ups. Do an entire set at your own pace. Okay, when you're done, get rid of your equipment. Go straight into jabs on the heavy bag. Side one, do 10 reps. Switch up, other side, 10 reps. And you're done. All right, the superset is gonna feature overhand pull-ups followed by um, uppercut punches on a heavy bag. All right, so when you do your overhand pull-ups, obviously you need your pull-up bar, you can go over the pull-up bar, use an overhand grip, right, about shoulder width apart, you know, possibly slightly wider, and do a full set, right? You can also add a weighted vest if you can do more than 10 reps of regular pull-ups, add a weighted vest, you know, to add some, uh, some resistance. Once you're done with that, you're gonna come back over to your heavy bag and you can choose either the lead hand or the rear hand, and we're gonna do a set of 10 uppercuts. Speed and power on the heavy bag, and we're gonna switch stance, and the other side, uppercuts on the heavy bag for 10 reps. Coming up. Okay, let's start with a set of overhand pull-ups. Do a whole set at your own pace. Okay, when you're done, you're gonna come back to your heavy bag and get rid of your equipment. Then we're gonna go straight into uppercut punches. Uppercut on the heavy bag. Side one, do 10 reps, go. Switch it up, side two, 10 reps. And you're 
and you're done. Okay, the superset is going to feature handstand push presses for the exercise, followed by rear crosses on the heavy bag. All right, so for the handstand push press part, part of it, you need a wall, and you're basically just going to do, get up into a handstand position, touch your head to the ground, and kick up into a headstand, or into a handstand again, and just repeat. Do as many repetitions as you can, and we're done with that, we're immediately going to come back to the heavy bag, and we're going to just go rear crosses on the heavy bag, right? With that kind of tempo, but we're going to do it with speed and power. Then we're going to switch stances and do the other side. Again, another 10 reps with speed and power. Coming up now. Okay, let's start with a set of handstand push presses. Do an entire set at your own pace. Okay, when you're done, go straight back to the heavy bag and go with rear crosses. Ten reps on side one. Go ahead. Switch it up to side two. Ten reps. Go ahead. And you're done. Okay, this superset we're doing underhand pull-ups for the exercise, followed by reverse hammer fists on the heavy bag. All right, so underhand pull-ups, you're going to use your pull-up bar, obviously, and you're going to use an underhand grip about shoulder width or wider apart. And if you can do more than 10 reps regularly that way, then you want to add a weighted vest, all right, to add some resistance. Once you can do, once you're done with that, we're going to come back over to the heavy bag, and we're going to do reverse hammer fists, all right? So if you're doing a lead hand reverse hammer fist, you're going to start here, and you're going to come with the hammer fist to the head and straight back, right? Then we're going to switch stances and go the other way, all right? With that kind of cadence or tempo for 10 reps each side. Coming up. Okay, we'll start with underhand pull-ups. Do a whole set at your own pace. Once you're done, then go back to your heavy bag. We're gonna get rid of our equipment. Then we're gonna go into reverse hammer fists on the heavy bag. Okay, reverse hammer fists. Side one, 10 reps at your own pace, go. Switch to side two, 10 reps, go. And you're done. All right, for this superset, we're doing incline clapping push-ups, followed by hook punches on a heavy bag. All right, so for incline clapping push-ups, you need a bench or something to elevate your feet on. You're gonna get into a push-up position with your feet elevated, do a push-up, and clap at the top. Keep going. Do a full set. And if you can do more than 10 repetitions, then add a weighted vest to make it more difficult. You're going to get rid of your equipment. Or we're going to immediately come back and we're going to go with hook punches on the heavy bag. Choose either your lead hand or your rear hand, right? But you're going to immediately throw 10 hook punches with speed and power, then switch stances and the, uh, go the other side. 10 hook punches with speed and power. All right, try not to sacrifice technique. Coming up. Okay, let's start with a set of incline clapping push-ups. Do a whole set at your own pace. Then 
once you're done, get rid of your equipment. Okay, let's go straight into hook punches on the heavy bag. Side one, 10 reps, go. Switch up to side two, go. And you're done. All right, this superset we're gonna do Close grip overhand pull-ups for the exercise, followed by dropping elbows on the heavy bag. All right, so close grip overhand pull-ups are going to be overhand grip, hands close together, do a full set of pull-ups. If you can do two, 10 reps you know, with your body weight too easily, then add a weighted vest for resistance. Um, once you're done with that, you're coming back over to the heavy bag. You can choose either your rear, your rear elbow or your lead elbow, and you're going to do 10 repetitions of dropping elbows. On the heavy bag with speed and power, switch stance, 10 repetitions on the other side. All right, coming up next. Okay, close grip, overhand pull-ups. Do a whole set at your own pace. When you're done with your set, come back to your heavy bag and get rid of our equipment. And we're going to go into dropping elbows on a heavy bag. Okay, dropping elbows, side one, 10 reps at your own pace. Go. Switch sides, 10 reps, go. And you're done. All right, the superset is going to feature clapping push ups and then overhand punches on the heavy bag. All right, so clapping push ups, you probably know what those are from, on a flat, from a flat position, flat push up position. Do your clapping push ups and resistance if necessary if you can do more than 10. Uh, then we're going to come over and do uh, overhand punches on the heavy bag. You probably want to do this with your rear hand, right? So overhand punches coming over the top, right, and down. Then we're going to switch and do the other side. Ten reps, speed and power on each side. Okay, let's start with a set of clapping push-ups. At your own pace, do a whole set. <clears throat> Okay, get rid of your equipment. You're done. Now we're going with overhand punches on the heavy bag. Do side one, 10 reps at your own pace. Go ahead. Switch up to side two, 10 reps at your own pace. Go. And you're done. All right, for this superset, we're going with close grip underhand pull-ups, followed by reverse elbows on a heavy bag. So as the name implies, close grip, underhand pull-ups, all right, uh, palms facing towards you, do a set of pull-ups, and a weighted vest as necessary. Um, once you're done with that, we're coming in back to the heavy bag, and you're going with reverse elbows. You can go with the rear or the lead, you pick, all right, but reverse elbows. Reverse elbows. Reverse elbows. Works, all right, then switch, and then 10 reps on the other side. All right, again with speed and power. Okay, let's start with a set of close grip underhand pull-ups. Go at your own pace, the whole set.
Okay, once you're done, just come back to the center, come back to your heavy bag. We're gonna get rid of our equipment. Then we're gonna go ahead with reverse elbows on the heavy bag. Okay, reverse elbows, side one. Go ahead, at your own pace, 10 reps. Switch up, side two, 10 reps. And you're done. All right, the superset, we have decline clapping push-ups followed by forward elbows in a heavy bag. All right, so decline clapping push-ups, you need a bench or something to elevate your hands with. All right, you can do a push-up. Clap. All right, edge resistance is necessary. Win with the weighted vest. Uh, when you're done with that, you're gonna get rid of your uh, bench and you're gonna immediately go into 10 reps each side of forward elbows. So forward elbows, forward elbows, forward elbows, forward elbows. And you're gonna switch stance. Forward elbows, forward elbows, forward elbows. 10 reps each side, speed and power. Okay, let's start with a set of decline clapping push-ups. Do a whole set at your own pace. Okay, get rid of your equipment. Gonna continue with forward elbows in the heavy bag. Side one, do 10 reps at your own pace. Go. Switch sides, 10 reps, go. And you're done. Okay, the superset is gonna feature dumbbell one arm rows followed by inside the guard hammer fists with a heavy bag on the ground. All right, so you need your bench, you need a dumbbell. You want a pretty heavy dumbbell, probably a lot heavier than what I'm showing you with, you with here, All right? And here you're gonna do one arm dumbbell rows, like so. Do a set on each side, right and left hand. All right, and then when you're done, you're gonna come down to your heavy bag on the ground, simulating being inside the guard, right? Elbows in tight. And we're gonna go unilaterally, we're gonna go with hammer fists on the head again. All right, 10 reps each side. Speed and power, coming up. All right, let's start with a set of one arm dumbbell rows. Do a full set on each side at your own pace. Go ahead. Okay, when you're done, put down your equipment. Then we're gonna go to your heavy bag on the ground. We're gonna do inside the guard hammer, hammer fists. Do side one, 10 reps. Go ahead. Switch up, side two, 10 reps. Go ahead. You're done. Okay, this superset is going to feature two arm overhead triceps extensions followed by full mount straight punches on the heavy bag. All right, so you're going to get, you need a bench, you can also do this standing up, right, and lift the dumbbell up over your head, do triceps extensions. All right, once you're done with your set, you're going to come onto your heavy bag, get into a mounted position, and we're going to go with straight punches on the heavy bag, all right? I'm going to fall out. Here's the only one where we're going to alternate. 
punches instead of doing them unilaterally. So you're going to do basically 20 alternating full mount straight punches. Coming up. Okay, let's start with a set of dumbbell two arm overhead extensions. Do a full set at your own pace. Okay, we're done, get rid of your equipment, then go to your heavy bag on the ground. I'm gonna go with full mount straight punches, alternating, do 20 reps at your own pace. Go ahead. And you're done. All right, this superset's gonna feature dumbbell alternating curls, followed by full mount hook punches on a heavy bag. All right, so dumbbell alternating curls, you need a pair of dumbbells, standing, perform alternating curls, etc. Complete an entire set. Once you're done, you can come back to your heavy bag, and we're going to go into a full mounted position, right? Wide base, right? And we're going to throw hook punches on the heavy bag. Ten reps each side. Coming up next, speed and power. All right, let's start with a set of alternating dumbbell curls. Do a full set at your own pace. Go ahead. And once you're done, get rid of your equipment. I'm gonna continue with full mount hook punches. <clears throat> Do unilaterally, one side at a time. Side one, go ahead, 10 reps. Side two, go ahead, 10 reps. And you're done. Okay, the superset is going to feature dumbbell triceps kickbacks followed by knee on stomach punches. And the knee on stomach punches is going to need to be straight punches or overhand punches, your choice. All right, but triceps kickbacks, like so. Get your elbows up and extend your arms behind you. Go for repetitions. All right, once you're done with your triceps kickbacks, you're going to come into a knee on stomach position. All right, wrap the arm and you're going to throw. 10 punches with speed and power. We're gonna switch sides. Same thing, wrap the arm. And then 10 punches, speed and power. Knee on stomach, coming up. Okay, start with a set of triceps kickbacks. Do a whole set at your own pace. Go ahead. Okay, when you're done, get rid of your equipment. I'm gonna go with knee on stomach punches. Do side one at your own pace. Go ahead. Switch it up, other side. And you're done. All right, the superset is going to feature dumbbell reverse curls, followed by inside the guard hook punches on the heavy bag. All right, so dumbbell reverse curls, get your pair of dumbbells, stand up, and perform reverse curls with your palms facing away from you. All right, once you're done with your set, 
You're gonna come under the heavy bag, like so. All right, and you're gonna go with uh, hook punches on the heavy bag. So when I do a hook punch on the heavy bag, I'm gonna keep one knee down, I'm gonna put one foot far out, keep this elbow tucked in, and I'm gonna come up to the other of the ribs or to the head. All right, then you're gonna switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Make sure you keep your base low so you don't get swept, right? And hook punches on the heavy bag. 10 powerful, speedy reps on each side. Coming up. Okay, let's start with a set of dumbbell reverse curls. Do a whole set at your own pace. I'm gonna go with inside the guard hook punches. You side one, do 10 reps at your own pace. Go ahead. Switch up to the other side, 10 reps, go ahead. And you're done. Okay, now that we've completed the workout, I'd strongly recommend that you do some post-workout stretching. Um, so you can either do that either on your own um, with the stretching techniques that you know, or you can use the post-workout stretch complex um, video that we have in our video library um, on the channel. So take a look at that. It's about 10 minutes long. I strongly recommend you do that. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you found this video useful and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We upload videos at least once a week. Thanks for watching.